Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the 55 gallon barrel worm bin. So as you can see, I left the lid off of this. It started to dry out a little bit, and the worms are certainly hanging out on the top here. You can see them hanging out on the bubble wrap. So let me put you on the tripod, and then we will get to it having a look and see what's going on inside here and then feeding them up if they need it. Alright, first things first, let's pull back the bubble wrap on the rest of everything here. Oops. This part over here is uh, still not drying out. Okay, let's see, not too much there. This part over here, which is the oldest bit, is not drying out, really, um, as much as I'd hoped for but progress is progress. That is drier. It's less muddy. And here's the middle part over here that I've kept the bubble wrap on. Nice concentration of worms and everything. And then over here is where I fed and then also put some leaf bedding on last time. So let's uh, take a look and see what they're doing. I'm just going to, you can see, I don't know if I can zoom in or not, but they're right here. You can see where the worms have been moving around on the side of the bin a little bit. So they've been super active. You can see the, the concentration of worms in the part where I have not fed, but it is still the old bedding, etc. Uh, is still very good. They're not I'm not moving out here, but also I don't think they should be. I mean, there's clearly quite a bit of bedding still in there. And uh, Tivana tea bags here. You can tell they must be degrading a little bit because it did just kind of rip open. I'm not sure if I should be, you know, it's only been six months. I think the green bags are going faster than the Tivana tea bags. All right, so we're kind of just going to take a quick look and see what they're doing over on this part here. Dig down a little bit, make sure it's not getting funky. Make sure the moisture's okay. And I'll just kind of give that one little bit layer up over here. And then I will slide over and look at the most recent feeding and bedding over here. Okay, so let's kind of pull back and see what they're doing. Ooh. Got something of a worm ball in here, but also got have quite a few pot worms. I'll try and zoom in and uh, so you can see that, but there's quite a few pot worms in there. That's that's a heck of a concentration. I don't normally see that. give it some air. You know, maybe it's the leaves, maybe it's the coffee. It's not overly moist. Um, I've heard potworms tend to go for where it's very acidic or more acidic. Um, I don't know what these two things are, but those are not um, supposed to be here. So those are being exiled from the bin permanently. Went to the farm. But that is something that can happen. You do get funky things in here. Um, when you do have leaves, you know, they grew outside and all manner of critters had been living in them previously when they were outside. So not not at all surprising to find some other kind of worm or grub in here. Um, this is in the basement, so, you know, nothing to freak about too bad. Actually, nothing to freak about at all. Just, you know, to be clear, I'm not freaking out. Ooh, no. Okay, maybe a little. But uh, they have been dispatched and will not 
those particular critters will not bother my bin again. But other than that, everything looks looks happy in here. I think uh, the worms are in good concentration down here at the newest end. So I will just continue fluffing the the newest portion here, keeping a little bit closer eye out for non-compost worms or the like. Ah, just rediscovered that hole from last time. Still liking the screen for some reason. Okay. I actually brought my gloves with me this time and forgot to put them on. I know nobody here is surprised by that. Let's see, I don't know what this is exactly. Piece of. Oh, it's that cinnamon bark. So just in case we ever have had any wondering if worms liked cinnamon bark, they do. They're living in it. It's a little risky sniffing that, but not too many things look like a curled up piece of super smooth bark. At least not things that would smell horrible. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna try and put some coffee filters over that hole so things don't get through it. Yep, everything looks lovely. So I will scoop everything up here and then they can get their new feeding for the day, for the week rather. I am doing it today but it's for the whole week. And here we are right back at the seam again. All right, let me grab the bedding and the food. I'll be right back. All right, first things first. I'm gonna use, make some more paper bedding. And then more kitchen scraps. Looks like, ooh, little, little drippy there. Got some avocado, banana, celery, and bits. That has been sitting for a while, so that is a little soupy. Bedding is a little wetter, but it will be okay. One more handful of bedding. Make sure all of that food gets covered up so I don't end up with any extra critters that I didn't sign up for. But let's pan back over and look. All right, so looking at the big picture here, the oldest portion, the next oldest portion, this is what we fed the last video, and here is what I've fed this time. So this is leaf budding. You can tell that it already looks super dark and this is, it was paper bedding originally. So you know just comparing new paper bedding versus paper bedding that's been worked on for two to three months versus paper bedding that's been worked on for probably close to six months. And then this is leaf bedding which I used because that's all I had last time. All right well getting a look at the the big picture here. Alrighty well if you guys like the video give me a muddy thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to my worm family and hit that little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day.